Hi there. Sorry about that. I was just getting everything set up this end. Hi. How's your day been so far? Mine's been okay. I've been typing up some transcripts from another case so that I can make sense of what is going on. Put it that way. Anyway, I've done many lives on this little boy. Many. Right, many, many, many. And it's been, today will be four months. Four months this little boy has been missing. He's three years old. And he's missing from two rivers. Well, let's have a look. I can tell you. Um, just have to wait the right person. Uh, missing from Wisconsin. Wisconsin. 
Right, um, let's have a look. Let me share this with you so you can see it as well. Let's just move that. Because I like you to see what's being said. You know what I mean? Oh. Search for Elijah. There's that little boy. Four months. He's three years old. But apparently he just walked out of a, out of this apartment. Right, just walked out. Managed to unlock three locks on the door. And one was a chain that was right at the top of the door. One was a deadbolt. And one was a normal lock. Okay, right. But this three-year-old that clever that he managed to do undo all those locks, walk out of the apartment. I think if I'd been a three-year-old, I'd have been running out of that apartment if I could. Anyway, nothing. How's chance? Did that little boy walk out that apartment? Sorry, not happening. And what piqued my interest was the fact that when I first heard about this case, and it was, I was literally the same day I heard about this case, I followed it from that day. Um, as soon as I said, he went missing. He was last seen at, I think it was said, 9 a.m. in the morning. But he was reported missing at 11. I sat here scratching my head and I'm thinking, hold on, you've got a three-year-old in your apartment, in your house, whatever, and you don't notice he's gone missing for two hours. Where the hell were you? Because three-year-olds are not quiet unless they're sleeping. At nine o'clock in the morning, I can go to you, they are not sleeping. Hold on. They're not sleeping at nine o'clock in the morning. Hello, how? No. They're running right around your house. Mom, this mom knack, mom knack. You know what I mean? I'm thirsty, I'm hungry. Mom, play with me. You know what I mean? Mom, look at this. I just showing you some piece of scribble on a pa paper. Yeah, let's go for this bit. Oh, lovely. Right, so a three year old is not quiet. So, I don't know. Something's not right here. That does not make sense. So I pulled up all the information I could on this little boy at the time. And there wasn't a lot. Because as I said, it came out the day, the day it was announced this little boy was missing. I was pulling up the information on him. And it sort of like left me thinking... It's not right. Even after I pulled up all this very little information that we had at the time on this little boy, I thought, what I was reading, I thought, that isn't right. That doesn't sound right. Anyway, Two Rivers, Wisconsin, WFRV. It's been nearly four months, well, it is four months today since three-year-old Elijah Vu disappeared in northeastern Wisconsin. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pull up Google Maps. Oh, no, I can't do that because... Oh, can I? I think I can. And I'll give you the area of where he went missing. Uh, let's get the address again. I've got it written down somewhere, but 
Uh, to, I'm just typing two rivers. Once I get to typing two rivers, it'll give me all the pictures. I'll be able to find the address from there. Because there's only, what, well, I know there's three main roads actually going into two rivers. No, four. Four. Four main roads. Not many. Not many main roads going into two rivers. Um, show this map. Show this. No, I'm going to zoom in because. Let me get this up because I can t I can see better when I've got pictures like this up for some reason. Um, oh, it's right down. Okay, not let me in yet. Try. Oh, God, I've just got. Oh, God. Sugar. Open the kitchen door. Here you go. Oh. One song I'm going to have to come up. Uh, come out of this I need to get so I just had to drop my little man wherever because my cat needed in no that isn't it is it come out and yeah it is 49 for 29 um, I'm trying to find it. You know, is it by the cemetery? I know there's a cemetery opposite. Oh, where is it now? Right, I'm going to have to search for this. Oh. Get that back up there. Get his address. Uh, yeah, to his best boy. Let's see if we can get the address. I can't remember the address. <sighs> oh, didn't even say it on that picture. Thirteen of I'm miscocked, okay. That's it. Right, here we are. <laughs> right, so there's the map. I'm going to hide myself so you can get a better view of it. Put myself down there. So everyone thought when I was reporting on this, right, they kept videoing outside this block here and it wasn't it wasn't there it was actually here there we are here this is where he went missing from
And later on in the day, they did find, I believe it was just around here, and I think it was just a bit sus because they found it later on in the day, not when they first went looking, searching. It was later on in the, like in the evening time, right, when it had gone dark. They found a little pump similar to the design that was said Elijah was wearing round about here somewhere. Now, by then, a big search had been started already by locals and whatever. You know what I mean? Police. And right next door to where they lived on the block. They lived here. Wow. Jesse Vang lived here. Right? They found a little shoe just round here. And then somewhere up here. Can't see it very clearly here. Let's see. Let's see. If I can get a better view. Somewhere over here. There's some bins there. Right, there's the bin. And apparently they found some other stuff there. Don't know what it was, they didn't say. Anyway, so because of that, they did a search of the landfill. I came up with nothing. And... Anyway, the family got together and started searching, right? And they're doing it really, they are still doing a really good job. They had it so organised, they had maps, they had areas, they was getting people to, groups of people to go to and search. Uh, when they'd search that area, they'd come back, they'd cross that off and so on. And they are doing morning searches and afternoon searches so if you couldn't do in the afternoon you go in the, and but you could in the morning you could help out in the morning anyway so they're doing a really really good job searching for this little boy and they went everywhere i will show you now right this is where he went missing from right I will show you the area they have searched. Right. Now I'm zooming out because I want to show you how far they have searched. And this is not just the police, this is regular, everyday people who live in that area. Right. They have gone all around here. They've gone all the way up here, searching, right, as far as I could, up here, all over here. I'm not joking when I say they have searched everywhere. They've gone all that way, and all this way. Right, oh, just got to find where I am again, right. Manic talk, right? And it's called Two Rivers because there's actually two rivers that run into. You see? Let's find it again. Where was it? God. Right. You can see this river here, and then there's this river here, and there's a community between the two rivers. That's why they call it two rivers. <laughs> anyway, I went over this because people say, and I understand they are doing some fresh searches again in the rivers. Because the only way that little boy could be in the river is if he was anchored down with something, tied down with something, or 
a heavy weight tied to him, which is keeping him down there. Because I live in the UK, and we have a lot of people that go missing, believe it or not, in rivers. Right? And just looking at this, this river, there's too many twists and turns. Right? And even when you get down here, right down here. Right? I'll tell you another problem. Why right, it could not have gone any further, any far, very far down that river without being seen. Because look at this, you've got the boats all anchored up here. You're going to tell me a little body's going to float woo, right past these boats, right past here, up to here. And then you've got the other river, East Twin River, joining. And I should imagine as the river meets, it's going to be twirling around and whatever. Right, so this little bug is going to be going right out until it gets past there. And then if it gets past there, you are then in. I'll find the name of this. Is it? Oh, come on, I'm missing out to this river. Lake Michigan, and it's a big lake, as you will see, right? Big lake, and it does go into this lake here, which is Lake Huang. And if the bug is very good, it can go around this way into this part of the lake. You know what I mean? It could be anywhere in there. But I don't think it is, unless they put him in there and weighted him down. That's the only way he's going to be in that lake. Because if he's gone in the river and he's floated down, his body would have been found by now. I can show you. Right. Let's find the opening to this river again. Where is it? Oh, God. Right, so it would have been, the body would have been found. I'm sorry, but it would have. So the only way it can be in either of these rivers, right? or even this one, Michigan, whatever it's called, is if it's weighted down. Because a body will sink to the bottom, then it bloats, right? Bloats up. All the gases in the body come through, and it'll float to the top. And... Depending on how healthy the little boy was, his weight, all that lot. Depends on how long it will take for a bug to come to the surface. And I don't think it will take a little boy's bug very long to come to the surface. I really don't. Anyway, they have searched everywhere. And there's an article here. Right, and it says Vu has been missing since February and was said to have been seen at the Two Rivers home of 39 year old Jesse Vang, who was in a relationship with Vu's mother, Katrina Barr. So, oh, yeah, I think we give her the mother of the year, not for a piece of. Right. Search efforts by authorities and community volunteers have continued since Elijah's disappearance with little progress. In March, Vu's blanket was found, but additional discoveries have been limited. 
Still, the Two Rivers Police have continued to provide updates on their investigation, including the latest posted on Monday. Now, I was sad to hear this because I really didn't expect that to happen in this case, where people are putting out rumours, right? Unnecessary. Why people put out rumours that a child is found when he's not is hurtful to the family. It's hurtful to all these people out there searching for this little boy. The police who are looking, it's hurtful to everyone involved in this case. Right? Police Chief Ben Manhart confirmed Vu has not been found and spoke out about it, about recent rumours that have surfaced on social media, claiming the boy has been found. Well, to be honest with you, I haven't seen any of those rumours. I haven't seen none of them. The spreading of false and misleading inf- information is disrespectful to the family of Elijah and detracts from our efforts in locating him. Locating him. It does. We, may, we, uh, we remain the sole source of factual information in this investigation and will release more information and updates when they are available to share. My heart continued, saying the department's search efforts are ongoing, including additional drone searches. Future search efforts will focus on the water, using sonar searches and assistance from Bruce's Legacy, a volunteer organisation. Right. The FBI and state county and local agencies are also following up on leads within Wisconsin and around two rivers. The Wisconsin Dells and Portage investigators are still analysing an, an extremely large amount of video and other data. My heart can t- encourage the community to participate in coordinated and legal permissible search efforts for Elijah. Right? So, he hasn't been found. So, if anyone has ever heard anything like that, ignore it. The little boy has not been found. Believe me, if he was found, I'd be going, woohoo! Yes, we found him. Well, in a way, I would be. I'd be relieved. I don't think we're, we're looking for a little boy. We're looking for a body. Unless. Now, this is just me. I was going to do some research on the gang activity in that area, the gangs. Because, oh, darn, I'm going to put up a picture. I'm going to, I'll add it first. Got to add it to it here. Come on. Right here. I don't like showing this picture, but see on here, on his neck, you've got a tattoo, it's nine, looks like a nine, a two, and an O. Now that's the area, I should imagine, area gang number, yeah? And we know they, well, we know him, is into... Uh, trafficking young women because believe it or not this woman was trafficked by him seven years ago so they say seven years ago now would you give your child to a bloke who just who trafficked you seven years ago no I wouldn't give that piece of s-h-i-t even a lump of sugar or a drip of water. I would not. Anyway, so, but I got sidetracked. So I will look into that. I'm going to write it down so I don't get forget again. Because otherwise, if I don't write it down, I do forget. 
gang activities to rivers right because how do we know he hasn't trafficked that little boy I hate to think of that because this little boy is only three years old three years old now I've also got some information here and it's from when she, uh, let's have a look where is it? Mm-hmm. No, that's not the wall. Where am I looking? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Right. Share. Yeah. This is something I saved to my emails a long time ago. Right, which was given to me. It was Friday, March the 8th. I got hold of this information. And I saved it to my emails. Because that way I know where everything is. Anything like this documents wise, I know where it is. It's in my emails. And... I've got to just get rid of this ugly bunch. And this is the revised. Oh, God's sake. What's going on? This is the revised charges. Because before it was just uh, neglect of a child or something like that. And I've only got Katrina's because I can tell you now, his is going to be the same, word for word, literally. So even if I had his, I know I've got his somewhere, but I can't find it. Even if I had his, I wouldn't read his because I only read one because they're both the same. The charges are both the same. Apart from Jesse Vang has not got Camp 2 or Camp 3. And I think there's another Camp 2. Hold on. And Camp 4. Right, he's only got Camp 1. Uh, let's have a look. Don't need to know all that. The undersigned complaint, being duly sworn, states that the following complaint is true and correct. I wonder if I can get... No, because if I put my auto-read on, if I put my auto-read on, it will read all this. And I don't want them. Count one. Chronic neglect of a child. Specified harm did not occur. PTIC as a partner, party to a crime. Hmm. The above named defendant on or between February 12, 2024 to February 18, 2024 in the city of Two Rivers, Manitowoc County, Wisconsin as a party to a crime being a person responsible for the welfare of a child, victim child one, date of birth, the 8th of 2020, through her actions for reasons other than poverty, negligently failed to provide necessary care so as to seriously endanger the physical, mental or emotional health of the child. And the natural and probable consequences of this violation would be the actor is guilty, I don't think it's actor, but that's what it's got, is guilty of chronic neglect as she committed three or more violations under Statute 948.21 
within a specified period of time involving the same toll to which country to SEC 948.215 and 21 and 2E. Oh God, I'm not going to go through all that. A class H felony, and upon conviction may be fined not more than $10,000 or in prison not more than six years. I'm sorry, I think that's disgusting. Six years. Okay. But I'm jotting all this down, so I've got six years there. Max, right? Then we've got count two. The above named defendant on or about Tuesday, February 20th, 2024, in the city of Two Rivers, Manitowoc County, Wisconsin, did knownly obstructing officer. Oh, John. I'm sorry, I've got to go and get a drink. So I'm just going to put this picture up. I'm just put a bit of music on for you. I won't be long. Alright, because I've just got to get a drink, because otherwise I won't be able to talk. Okay. Let's just get... I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Um, let's just get this off here for a bit. Right. So, on the count two, she can have a ten thousand dollar fine, or in prison not more than nine months, or both. So, tagging up, if she gets a full, right, if she gets a full sentence, that's nine months. Okay. Um, so, up to 20,000 in fines already, if she gets the both, and the highest demands. Right. Uh, the but count three obstructing an officer. So she's got two counts of obstructing an officer. And with that one, it's a class A misdemeanor. And upon, upon conviction, may be fined not more than $10,000 or in prison not more than nine months. So there's nine months. $10,000. Oh. Keep it acting up there. If they got the full amount given to them, there's 30,000 if she had the full amount to pay. Right? Count four. Hold on. I'm just going to finish my drink because I had to wait for the kettle to boil. Hold on.
Oh, I'm back. Sorry about that. I swear to God, I think this house is my place is haunted. I'm just checking my kitchen. Right now, I've got nothing on, no music on, no TV on. And I could hear someone going, uh, whistling. I can't whistle, so I can't even do it back how it was. And I'm thinking, who's whistling? Now, I know it's not someone outside, because I live too high up to hear someone whistle outside, unless it's a loud, loud, loud whistle. Right? But it wasn't, it was a very soft whistle, like a song sort of thing. And I'm thinking, where the hell? So I just want to check my flat as well. Anyway, so I came for to find out on or about Wednesday, February the 14th, 2024, in the city of Two Rivers, Manitoba County, Wisconsin, being a person responsible for the welfare of a child. Now, this is the extra charge she's been added on to. And you'll find out why. How they come to this in a minute. Victim child two died to birth fifth twenty seventeen. Through her action for reasons other than poverty, did negligently fail to provide necessary care so as to serious endanger the physical, mental or emotional health of the child. And the natural and probable consequences of this violation would be harm under whatever. Although the harm did not actually occur contrary to section 948.21, a class it's a it's a class I misdemeanor. And upon conviction may be fined not more than ten thousand dollars, so there's forty thousand dollars. If if she got fined the full amount and all these charges, there's forty thousand dollars. And no no more and nine months. Nine, eight, twenty-seven. That's twenty-seven months. Twenty-four is two. Twenty-four is two years, isn't it? Twenty-four. Forty-five. Two years, three months. So she's looking at six, seven, eight years, three months. If she got the full sentence and on every charge, if she got the six years for the first charge and nine months for <coughs> the second, the third, and the fourth charge each, she's looking at six, seven, eight years. It's not a lot. I must admit, it's not a lot. Right. Probable cause. The complainant, complainant alleges he is informed by the report of Megan Clumpion, known to be known to complainant to be a detective with the Two Rivers Police Department and Detective Lieutenant Jacob Glaser or Glaser of the Two Rivers Police Department, that the incident occurred in the two, city of Two Rivers, Manitowoc County, Wisconsin. On the 2nd of 20, this is based on information provided by Detective Clumpier and Detective Lieutenant Glasser. I'm probably making a right pig's ear of these names, but... I'm sorry. On the 2nd of 20th, 2024, the Two Rivers Police Department, TRPD, was notified by dispatch that Jesse Vang called 911 at 10.59am. Now, that's what got me. For oh, he went missing at 11 in the morning. Okay. But then when I heard that he went, last time he was seen was like 9 or 8 or 9 in the morning, I thought, hold on. At 10.59 a.m., reporting that he was babysitting a three-year-old child. Victim, child, victim. Fang reported the ch 
that while watching the child, he fell asleep. When he woke up, the child was missing. Law enforcement responded to the Vang residence at 3918 Mishicot Road, apartment 102 in Two Rivers, Manitowoc County, Wisconsin, in an attempt to la- locate the victim. Law enforcement has been unsuccessful in locating victim child one. As of February 26th, you know what I mean? That was like six days later. Anyway, let's go. Um, do I really need to read all this? Really? I'm just going to have a look and just read the main part. Oh, he has got 800 hours that was brought into his bedroom. So that's 8 a.m. So it's three hours before he phoned law enforcement. Um, uh, spoke with Barra, that's a mother, has been in the care of Jesse. She stated he has been in the care of Jesse Fang for approximately one week. <coughs> Barra resides in the Wisconsin Dells, Wisconsin Dells. Barra stated that she dropped a victim child one with Jesse Fang on the 2nd, the 12th, 2024, in Fong Dulac, Wisconsin. Hmm. She intended on victim. Coming back to Wisconsin girls on Friday the 2nd of 23. So she's literally saying 12 days, 11 days, that little boy would have been at that guy's, at Jesse Fang's. You know what I mean? Oh, Katrina Barrett, and you know that she was in the manic to her care. I mean, why think you know what? It really annoys me. Right. They was they was dumb enough to take their phones where they went. They was dumb enough to send text messages to each other, right? And then when the police took them off, the phones off them, right? Um, they pulled all this information off. Information where she'd been texting him, he'd been texting her. All that. So... But they was clever in one way. I'll give them this. They was clever in one way. Because they reported him missing on the 20th. On the 19th, they borrowed some friend's car. Well, don't worry, they've got that car. The friend has already, the friend has already handed that car into the police. But they're that clever that like this car that they borrowed... Is that is an older car, so it does not have a tracking system on it, right? So most cars today have tracking systems on, so they can track where a car is. But this one had no, and they can also track where the car went to all the places. It's a bit like a phone, yeah. <laughs> It tracks everywhere you go. Well, they used a car that had no tracking on it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I'm going to just go take some drink. Uh, 
they use the card no tracking. So police, two rivers police, but they ain't putting out a call for people <coughs> <coughs> to let them know if they've seen, if anyone had seen this car anywhere between, I think I just said it was 2 p.m. Was it 2 p.m. and 9 p.m. or 2 p.m. and 7 p.m.? On the 19th. Right? Because they had the car, but they, they couldn't track where it had been. Right? They knew the mileage. Because the guy said, well, there's a difference in the mileage. And told them the difference in the mileage. Right? But they don't know where that is. That's a big area. They <laughs> You know what I mean? So, when you say, oh, it's 20 miles, right? It's done 20 miles. Don't forget that's 20 miles there and back, wherever they went, yeah? Now, there's two rivers. How far is 20 miles? You know what I mean? It could be over here, it could be up here, could be up here, could be down here. So they might know the distance they travelled, but they don't know where. So they was asking people if they'd seen this maker car and gave them the first two the first letter of the registration number and the last. And people go, Oh, we've got to look for that note. You haven't got to look for the car. No, <laughs> they didn't want you looking for a car. They wanted the information as to if anyone had seen this car anywhere between these hours. I think it was 2 and 9, I'm sure it's 2 and 9, 2 p.m. and 9 p.m., I'm sure it was. So, they've got the car. And I should imagine if they've got the car, they've done forensics. However, right? I did some research on another case of this. And a body, if you can get rid of a body within, I think, 24 to or 48 to 72 hours then you'll get no smell off you in the car there'll be no smell in the car there'll be no, no DNA like decomp in the car because I literally did so I'm not, I sat here reading it and going you know what I'm I'm so glad I'm getting I'm getting uh, incinerated when I get buried, when I die, because I was reading what the body goes through after it dies. I'm going, oh my God, it was horrendous, right? But then I thought, hold on, this little boy's out there somewhere. We've got missing children out there somewhere, and this is what's going on as we speak. Anyway, so... I know you've got up to 72 hours before something like the smell of a body. You know what I mean? Before it starts smelling, giving off a smell. And you've got like a, a, bit, a bit longer before the decomp comes into it. So let's just say hypothetically, hypothetically, everyone, if you're watching this on replay, do not go running back and telling people I said this. It's hypothet hypothetically. Let's just say we'll call them A and B, right? A is the mother, B is the boyfriend, right? Let's just say. On the 19th, something happened. 
too little for uh, Eliza. So they've gone and borrowed a car. Why they had to borrow a car when she's got a car of her own? You know what I mean? That's why I know they were so clever. They borrowed a car. Why when like, she's got her own car? They borrowed a car, took this little boy out, because he's only small, so they could make him look like he was sleeping. You know what I mean? Put him in the back of the car. Or even in the boot. Wrapped up. Yeah? So no DNA is going to get into the car. You wrap a body up in plastic. Right? Tape it up. You're not going to get any DNA like hair or anything off that child in the car. And there won't be no smell because the smell doesn't come straight away. So if they've got rid of him on the 19th, say something happens on the 19th, and A and B decided, look, we've got to get this body, got to get this little one. you got to get Z out of here. Let's put it that way. So it's A being Z, Z being Elijah. Hypothetically, they put him in the car, they drive. I don't know how far. They drove. The police have not informed us of the um, non mileage. Right? Because if we had the mileage, we could do a fairly basic map, mapping of the distance out. You know what I mean? But we haven't been told that. So, they've got him in the car, they've wrapped him up, they've bungled him up, and they've wrapped him up. They've got him in the back of the car, or the boot of the car. They've drove off somewhere, they've either buried him very well, they've either buried him very well, or they've put him in the river. Now, it could be this big river. This big river here, that we're seeing on the screen. Could be in there. Could be in there. Right? Could be in this part of the river. Right? It's weighted down. Now that isn't tidal because I don't think it goes out to the sea. No, it doesn't. No. So it's not tidal. So the body's not going to go down and then back and then down and then back with the tides. You know what I mean? It's not going to happen. So, say they've bumped him up, got him to the river, tied a big brick to him, big rock, bump it in the river. Yeah? Is that a possibility? It is a possibility. And I think that's what the law enforcement are thinking now because they're doing renewed searches of the rivers. I don't think he's in Oh I can find it again. See? Oh god, let me do this again. I do not believe he is in these rivers. I don't. Right? So, because I think something will just showing up by now. Even if the tide, the river levels went down, it will just shown something by now in those two rivers. I seriously believe because you don't know if they had a boat and took him out there. We don't know. Or is there any other rivers anywhere? Why? Right. 
it's hard to say. Right? So, that is hypothetically, that could happen. And I don't think he's anywhere around here. Right? As you'll see with my little mouse going round and round in circles, I don't think he's anywhere around there. I don't think he's anywhere around here. Uh, and I know they did search the river because here they were searching up here at one stage. Because that is a possibility it could be in that river. Because it's so easy to there's so many places you could pull off this road to get to this river. But it's, it'd have to be weighted down, and you've got to get a deep area. You know what I mean? Because rivers like that, they do go, they lose the, the height of the water goes down. If you get a lot of rain, the height of the water goes up. But we're coming into the warmer weather now, so I should imagine they're not going to be getting a lot of rain. I don't know what it's like around there, but I should imagine it's a lot warmer than it is in the UK. Just saying. Right? At the moment, we're in our summer, but it doesn't feel like it. It doesn't even look like summer. The only reason I know it's summer is because it's still light at 10 o'clock at night. If it's winter, it'd be pitch black and I'd be able to sleep. Anyway, enough of my sleep patterns. But there's plenty of pull up pullings around here where they could have hit his body in the water. So yeah, okay, search the river again. Get so not on it again. But surely they had so not on it before. If they didn't, why didn't they have sonar on it before? Because if they've had sonar on these rivers, if they've had boats going down here with sonar, right, they would have found something. Sonar, and I believe EcuSearch was there for a while. Now, they are good in the rivers. Well, they're good on land as well. They really are. Right? So, they would have found something. If they'd have been there and they'd have been in the rivers, they would have found them. But then again, sometimes, extra search, extra search going and the police are like, well, we just want you to do the drones. So, they just help the drones. Flying the drones around certain areas. Or... We need help searching these areas. So they go on foot, search them areas. They'll only do the um, sonar in the river if law enforcement ask them to go along the river and check the river with sonar. If they didn't ask them, why? Because I know they'd have the equipment there to do that. But, no, I'm not even going to say that because they will get found his body. If they had sonar on these rivers, don't care, they'd get found his body. So, by them saying that, what was it they said? Like that. Well, uh Where was it they said it? Yeah. My heart continued saying the department's search efforts are ongoing, including additional drone searches. Searches. Future search efforts will focus on the water using sonar searches and assistance from Bruce's Legacy, a volunteer organisation. So, was, why wasn't sonar done on the rivers before? That should have been done. 
within the first few weeks, first few days, they should have had boats on that river using sonar the first few days. Especially when you think, look, right, this is, where do they live now? Where is it they live? Especially when, look, they live there, yeah? They live there. Yeah. Wow, Jesse Vang lived there. No, it's, just go up this road, yeah? Go up here. Along the VV, or whatever it's called. And they've searched all this land. They really have. Right. No, I am going to take my little man down there because I want to show you how close you can get. Well, I can't get very close because I can only get to the main roads like here. Right. But look, if you go down there, you're in the river. Yeah. You're in the river, I believe. Am I facing the right way? Right. So, we're going to go, which way am I going? Yeah, we're going the wrong way then. Let's go down here. Mm -hmm. A little man can't go fast enough. He's going to run his little legs off to guide this little man is. But there's so much open land as well and thick bushes and things like that, you know. Look at this. But I should imagine by now, if that body was somewhere in the open, you'd get the smell. You'd have a nasty smell. That's why I state he's either buried or he's in the water and he's anchored down. Now look. See? This is how close they can get to that river in the car. I can't get any closer. Uh, let's just try and zoom in somewhere. You know what I mean? It wouldn't be this bit. That's too shallow. All that is shallow. But look how close they can get to that river. Pull up. Bump in the river. Now, if that's deep enough there, they're not going to find him. But... I just can't get over the fact that they're now going to concentrate on the rivers again because they said they'd search the rivers. And I know I did see some footage of a search going on. But this was up here. Up by Shoto. Up there. The search was going on. But look how close you can get to that river. I'd like to know how deep that river is. You know what I mean? Let's carry on along this road. Nice car, I think. I think all this land would be very marshy, very wet, very marshy. But they're saying that.
So we're coming to the river opening here. Look, straight down again, you've got the river. That is someone's... Oh no, it isn't. Sorry, what am I doing? What am I doing down there? That isn't the river. That's a hive. Sorry. Sorry, not the river. I've got the wrong wall. Where's the river? Oh yeah. Yeah. This is land. Private... Someone's land. So, unless they're going to try and get past someone's land. They're not going to do that, are they? Is there any houses here? Is there houses? I can't tell. No, that's the river, isn't it? That is the river. See, so they could have pulled off here. Boom. There's the river again. So, it could be in that river. But I can't understand why are they only starting to use so sonar now. I thought they'd already done the sonar. Right. What's this place? Oh yeah, this is a bridge. This is where I saw some search going on once, near the beginning. And it was round here. Right. Is that the river? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Right, there's the river there. Right. I think there's a... Um, Never bridge. Yeah, this is the better bridge. This is the one. See, there's the Vita. And this is where they was doing the search round here. So let's hope now if they pull the drones at uh there's uh, uh, sonar out again and get those boats in those rivers and if they get nothing on these little rivers these two rivers in here they need to search there it's big and it's being awesome. It'd be... I don't know awesome. It'd be, um... Off-putting. Thinking, oh, God. That's going to take so much to search. But it has to be done. It's got to be done. That river, that big river, has to be done with zone sonar. Right, it really does. But as you can see, this river is very shallow. See what I mean? There. So there's no way a body will go in there. I don't know how deep it is down here. It's very shallow here. So no budget is going to be put in that bit of the river. And as I said, there's other parts. Look at the bends. Right? Let's have a look. Right? Let's have a look. Look at the bends in the river. 
very shallow there, as you, I've just shown you, it's very shallow, right? And then you've got all these things here, like branches and whatever in the river, right? Overhanging trees in the river. Because the body will not just go bub, 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 all the way down the middle of a river, it doesn't do that. It'll go from whatever. And then look, you've got all this here. Right, the body could get caught up on here. However, I want to read one more thing to you. Because I think we know, hold on. Uh, run. This. Right, let me shit. Take this down. Right, hold on. No, 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 no. I've just. Oh, God's sake. Just. Why did I do that, Angie? I've just clicked my page down and I didn't need that. I wanted it open. <laughs> right. No, not this one. I need my email address because that's where... I should send it to that address now. Uh, um, but I've got it in this bar, so it doesn't matter. Come on. Uh, this is, is this the one I want? Yes. Share this tab. Make right. sure so you can see. Yes. Now, I'm going to zoom in so you can see. This is March the 4th. Now, this was written for the courts. And this is written by her mother. Right? It goes on to say, I have known Katrina Barra longer than anyone, as I am her mother. At this, at this time, I am asking the court to deny any bond modi modification put for a multiple of reasons. I understand bond is not, is not meant as a punishment, but as an assurance to appear. While you have access to some of Katrina's records, there are records in other states including Nevada and California. You are not seeing. She has contacts in other states that will be that may be willing to assist her depending on the story she is telling. A story always depends on her audience. At this time, rather than aligning in locating her son, she feels the need to re reiterate, reiterate what a good guy Jesse is and is fully defending him and his actions. By aligning with him, she could, have, she could potentially have access to his extended family and ability to flee the area. Katrina routinely will blame anyone and everyone for what happens without taking responsibility for her actions. Goes without saying, 
She is incapable of making appropriate judgments in everyday life, which will likely include being available for future court dates and questioning. Katrina has no ties to the community. When I asked her why she would go back to Jessie, she stayed, I felt alone. Come on, women. If you're watching this and you're on your own, you're a woman. You you can do you can do life on your own. You really can. Bit scary at first, but believe me, so empowering. Once you get past that, oh, I live on my own. I'm scared. No, no, you're not. You're not on your own. There's hundreds of people like us. We're out there, live on our own. Take that empowerment. Right. She goes on to say, I can assure you she's well aware of resources available, but she chose not to use them. She severed her relationship with me in October 2022. So there's no family in the area. Well, while paper will show a minimal income, there is unaccounted for income when compared to her spending. I am aware she allowed Jesse to claim her children as dependents on his taxes and he gave her half of the refund he received for them. I am also aware she received food stamps for a child not in her care. And as miscellaneous, has had miscellaneous unclaimed income. In 2016, we resided in CA and my oldest daughter was having heart surgery in Wisconsin, whatever. So I was here with her. At that time, Katrina faked a forced abduction. Oh, wow. Well, okay. I wonder if that was in line with the, um, of when it said Jesse Fang, uh, trafficked her out. Right. She was located in MN, where she was taken in on, in on a hold for erratic behaviour caused by drug use. When the officer drove from WI to get her, she refused to leave, stating she was there by her own free will. The entire abduction was a farce, but just shows she has the ability to disappear when she wishes to do so. This is coming from her mother. Katrina has struggled with depression and anxiety for many years, has a history of erratic behaviour and a long history of drug abuse. She's been in two mental health homes and now suffering from a traumatic brain injury is highly likely to forget mandatory appearances. I don't feel it is worth the risk to lower her bone, especially as Elijah has not been found and many questions are unanswered. She does need to be held accountable for what rolls out in the future and I feel releasing her would be a flight risk. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Her being the victim of her verbal and emotional abuse for a very long time. If the court finds any reason to reduce her bail, I would like to be assured of my peace and safety with a court order, no contact and GPS monitoring. Wow. That must have been pretty hard for the mother to write that. You know what I mean? To, for a mother to write something like that, to keep her daughter in prison. I'd be doing everything possible to get my daughter out of prison, you know what I mean? <coughs> <coughs> but then, if I had a daughter like her, who was a drug user, 
and has been known to run off before and hide. You know what I mean? Then she's in the right place. I do the same. And as I said, she said, there's many ants questions unanswered yet about Elijah Vu. Such as, where is he? Katrina Barra, where is your son? And I swear to God, I, if she's done anything or helped, like, she sent her son to stay with this Jesse Vang so he could teach him to be a man. This is a three-year-old boy. A three-year-old boy, by the way, that she had not toilet trained, potty trained, nothing. He was still in nappies because she's too idle to look, teach him. Right? He was still drinking bottles of milk and juice rather than proper solid food because she was too idle to cook him, cook him proper food. Right? It just makes me wonder what her daughter, what she's feeding her daughter. Right, so she has no feelings for this little boy. This is just my opinion. She has no feelings for this little boy. Because if she did, it's four months now. I think police, law enforcement, someone could have put a bit more pressure on her to make her crack. You know what I mean? That's why they need to find his body. They need his body to do anything else. Right? She could go down for six, seven. Eight years maximum, if she got the full sentences on all of her charges. But she won't get the full sentence. She won't. You'll have some judge going, hmm, but, oh, it's a shame, isn't it? She's, she's got mental health problems. It's her own fault. Mental health problems, using drugs, illicit drugs, does not help with mental health. Using any drugs like that will not help with your well-being. It will give you paranoia. It will give you anxiety. You know, once you've got mental health problems, you've been using drugs. You know what I mean? Anyway, so I thought I'd just read you that because that was from the mother. And it couldn't have been easy for the mother to actually sit and get that written out and or typed out. And here's a little boy. What could this little boy have done so Do you know they had the mother when she went over to the house took a photograph of her little boy, her little boy, lying on the bed with blindfold on a bruise to his cheek and something else. And then within hours, she deleted that picture. Why the hell would she take a picture of her son suffering like that? Why? And not do nothing about it? This piece of SHIT will make him stand in the corner for three hours, either saying prayers or saying, I'm sorry, Mommy, over and over again. Right? And it'd be constantly in time out, which meant standing in the corner or at the bottom of the bed saying his prayers. He's three years old. Three years old, and he's. And you know what he said? He said he isn't as though it wasn't as though his knees were giving way or shaking or something like that. I can't remember exactly what he said. You serious, man? He's three years old, and if he did, 
even tremble and go to sit down. You know what he'd say to the little boy? Do you want cold water? Because he used to give him cold showers. And he said, he didn't like cold showers. I don't know why. Uh, <coughs> do you know what I mean? He don't like cold showers, but I don't know why. Who likes cold showers unless you're in a really hot country and you need it to cool down, you know what I mean? Unless it's a really hot day, then you have a cold shower to cool down. <laughs> but even then, I don't like cold showers. It has to be slight, slight, a bit of warmth to it. Right. It's like people say to me, how can you drink coffee in hot weather? I drink coffee all the time. It can be really, really hot outside. And I would rather go and get a, a mug of coffee, or a big takeout mug sort of thing of coffee, than sit and drink a bottle of juice. I cool down drinking coffee. My body's used to coffee. Anyway, so this part, this piece of SHIT sent her son to this piece of SHIT to be a man. To be a man. It's three years old. Look at that face. That is pure. That's just evil. That isn't a mother. That's evil. She's soulless. She's got no feelings there. No feeling at all. She was actually telling him in a text message, don't cooperate with law enforcement. You know what I mean? Don't tell them anything. What is he not supposed to tell us, Katrina? You know what I mean? She was saying that to him. So she's no way going to give in on her son. Right? Now I'm wondering if they put pressure on him, would he give up on her? Give her up? Did she cause an injury to her son which unalived him? Right? Did she? Look at those eyes. That is soulless. She's got no soul in them eyes. Not a care in the world. He's a career criminal. He's used to prison. Right? Huh? She's probably used to prison. Give it a rest. Right? But he's more used to it. And at the moment, they're not in, are they in prison or jail. Jail, isn't it? Jail. They're not in the big prisons yet. They're just in the little holding tank sort of thing. Wait till you get sentenced, love. Wait till you get sentenced. And you may... I don't know what your gang believes in, but I hope to God they don't believe in harming young children. I really do. Because if you brought harm to that young child, that gang, that group you're in, is not going to take too kindly to you. But then again, you might be in a group where they don't care. They don't care about anyone. You might be in that sort of group. So, who done the... He's not alive. I'll tell you now, that little boy is not alive. He's... They have unalived him. I believe it happened on the 19th. Sometime on the 19th. They then arranged for the car. They then got the buggy out of that apartment. Right. And got rid of him somewhere. But where? As I've said, they have searched and searched land everywhere they can go. They have searched. I'll tell you something. 
anyone remember the program called Making of a Murder, Murderer? Right? About a guy who was sent to prison and then this lawyer, he got off, got out, he was falsely accused and he got released. Then a short while after, he was working on his dad's business, in his dad's business, in this scrap business, right? A woman goes missing. And she was the, a woman who used to go around and take photographs of cars that are for sale to put in their magaz- in the magazine she worked for. And this woman went missing. And the body was found on right up in this one corner of the scrapyard, right up in far, far, far corner of a scrapyard. But the found her body, right? Was it her body or was it just a car? I can't remember, but they found something. And I, th- I believe it was a car. Right, not the body. I believe it's just a car. Anyway, he, this guy, and his nephew were accused. His nephew gets off, right? Gets off with him and gets out of prison. But he's still in prison. Well, their scrapyard, they have searched again. But not because they think, think they've got anything to do with it. Not because of that. And the family said, law enforcement can come on. But the newspapers and the cameras are not allowed on their property, which I can quite respect, you know what I mean? Why would you want people who was accusing you and your nephew and your members of your family of murder and all that, right? Why would you have that? So they let the police go on. And there is nothing there. They found nothing. Again, it's not as, there isn't as many cars on this scrapyard now as there used to be. Because of what happened, right? Their business went downhill, right downhill. And um, so they're being searched for their land and property again. That's how far out there went. Hold on, I'll see if I can find you. Oh, God. Right, let's see if I can find it. It's, God, I can't, I can't even find it now. Where would it be? No, it's not in the city place, it's well like right in the middle of nowhere. You know what I mean? But it's, they've searched all this area. You know what I mean? This is a big area. They have been searching. Um, look at this area, they've searched all this. It's unbelievable where they've searched. But yeah, they went and searched that property. And they found nothing. And I knew they wouldn't. Because 
they're not going to hide, well, someone's as evil as that guy there, someone as evil as, oh god, well I can find you again, sorry, I think, right, someone as evil as that guy, yeah, but they've got such a big area to search, I can't see them just jumping it in some old wreck of a car because they know eventually those areas would get searched so it's very well buried it could be buried or it could be way down in them rivers or it has been sold now that wouldn't push me past that would not put me past that I will not put past that past the mother because she's all full of money. She's all full of money. You know what I mean? If she thought she could make a, some money, well, you know, let's say you sell your soul, right? She sold her soul. Because if she has sold her little boy, then she's sold her soul to the devil. But then again, if it's my child missing, I would dance with the devil if it meant finding my little boy. You know what I mean? But then again, how would freeze over that ten times before any law enforcement told me no, not to look for your child? Yeah, are you gonna stop me? Are you gonna lock me up? They picked they picked these two up. They arrested him first on the same day that the little boy was reported missing. And then they picked her up like in the early hours of the morning, man, about four, three, four PM, four AM. In the morning, that's when they picked her up. Right? And then while they've got her inside and they're going through the phone, they come across information of where she was talking, messaging him. Right? About, oh, I'll have to leave my phone in the car with my other daughter while I come in to see you. That's how they knew. She'd left her other child in the car while she went into his apartment. How sick is that woman? She's got one son with this guy who she's got to been leaving with him for the last week or so, right, before he went missing, to be a man. And then, because she wants a bit of cook, bit of nookie, she leaves her other daughter in a car when it's flipping freezing outside for a few hours or so, or she goes in. Oh, and, and the same night, she takes that photograph of her little boy lying on the bed with a blindfold on and a bruise or some... A, a, there's two things I mentioned about him to his body. Oh, God. See if I can find you. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I can't find it. Yeah. But there was something about a bruise on his face. He had a blindfold down, a bruise on his face. And he was lying on the bed and his mother, this piece of waste of space, this woman, 
took a photo of him. Probably laughing about it as well. If I know her, she's probably laughed about that. Haha, <laughs> look at him all tied up and whatever. How sick is she? Anyway, there's no more news apart from what I've just read out today that they are going to do more drone searches. They're going to get the river searched again and get it um, sonar. Because I don't know where else they can search on land because I, I swear to God they have searched everywhere. And they're going out and further and further and further out. I think they need to find out the mile distance, the mileage they drove that day. So at least they can give the searchers who are organising these searches a distance of where to go out to, you know what I mean? So say they went to drive 20 miles, all in all. All in all, that day, they drove 20 miles. That's like, say, 10 miles out and 10 miles back, yep. So they get to get a radius of 10 miles. And then another radius of 10 miles. And so on. And get them areas covered. You know what I mean? Because they're doing a brilliant job as it is. Themselves just searching all this area. But I think if they could get a definite pinpoint of a distance. Well, not such a definite, but a pinpoint a distance. They'd have a better working plan to work to. And they may find they probably covered all them areas already. But it's hard to say where to look, how far to keep going out. Right. Oh, I'm just trying to get my maps back up. How far to go out? How far? You go out, keep going until you're out here. You know what I mean? Right out here. Or keep going right up to here. You know what I mean? How far can they keep going out to search for this little boy? Right? I know the searches are going on still, but I don't think they're daily. I don't think it's like morning and afternoon no more. I think they've got one or two, maybe three searches a week. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go on the Facebook page. Oh, talk about that. I'll have a look at that. Because that tends to tell you a lot, the Facebook pages. Just before we go, we'll just... Have a quick look on the Facebook pages. Uh, right. Let's have a look. Oh, uh, what's been said? Do you think it's still up in front? Um, no, it's just about the recent rumours. So, oh, um, what's this one? Oh, no. Let's see what they're saying. Uh, 
And the National Order that the National Guard there, the FBI there, US working with the US Air Force on a state level, we are you are looking at DCI from the start, State Patrol, from a more local standpoint, I could say that every Sheriff's Department sent somebody at some point from the Police Department when you are talking over 500 Police Departments, probably 400 plus came in and did something at some point. Wow. Right, there was a reward of $40,000 if you have any information, and I don't mean stupid information like I heard, such and such said, such and such told, such and such, um, such and such told me. I don't, it's not that sort of information. No. Credible information. You have seen something. Right? No. I know where he is. Not that information either. You, if you know where this child is, sh give the receipts. Do not come onto Facebook pages, or YouTube channels, nothing, not that. Go straight to Two Rivers Police Department and give them the information. They will want receipts. They will want proof that what you are saying is correct. Right? Because I swear God, if you're messing them about, they will mess you about. Anyway, you can submit tips on the P3 Tips app or by calling the state tip line at 844-267-6648. Oh. Frank and Elijah Murray, featuring a thousand charming glass shot with Barry next year for a status conference on June the 20th. And Vang due for the same on June the 20th. That's today. Oh, but you see, because of the time difference as well, I won't get to hear, see any of this until tomorrow morning now. So when I hear about something like that, I will post it on my community tab. So status. Conference June the twentieth because of the time difference, you know what I mean. And rank is June twenty eighth. But I will post it on my community page on my YouTube account. I will post it on Facebook. I will post it on X. So if there's anyone watching on X, I will be posting it on there as well. Okay, so once I get that information about that status conference from today, well, either later tonight or tomorrow morning, I'll, hear, I'll find that out. Okay? Because all this information used to come out once I'd gone to bed and then I got good. Because of the time difference between the UK and where they are in Two Rivers, Wisconsin. And I'm sorry, I know I'm here for the children, but there's no way I could sit up till 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning. I can't. Can't do it. Anyway, I'd just like to say, if you've liked what you've seen, what you've heard, and as I said, I've always said that I only deal with facts, right, which I have done. I have, oh, I do get, say, facts and my opinions, you know what I mean, or your opinions, your opinions count as well, your thoughts, what are your thoughts on this case? 
Đấy. So, but I won't go into all that drama about, like, if anyone tells, if I find something out, I need to check it out first. If someone comes to me and says, oh, such and such, this, this, and this, right? I need to check that information is correct. Like, one case was doing, I'm looking on that still. Um, It said something, what was he? About an audio to a video. So what did I do? I went and fact-checked it. And the person I went to is the person who first released the audio, uh, the video. And I said, was there any audio to that video that you released with the lights? This guy must have had so many people go to him. Because then he put out a post to cover it all, stating there was no audio. So people are putting an audio out on a video, and I thought, I'm not going to play it. Right? Well, I did play it, but only because I was calling it out. By saying, this is not true. This is false, again. Where that... It's ambient noise. When you take a video of anywhere... You'll get ambient noise. You get the traffic behind you or dogs barking or trees bristling around you. You know what I mean? Or if you're in a house and you've got a mum and dad with you, you've got them talking in other rooms. You've got all that going on. Right? So I will always check all my facts first. I won't go anywhere else until I've checked my facts. And once I know it's People are talking out their backsides. I will call it out. I will call it out. Because I'm fed up. Like, this is what made me do this today. I'm fed up of people coming and putting rumours out about this case, about the little boy being found. That's not right. And we'll have more people come out soon. Because this money, this money is going to be, mm, $40,000. There's going to be someone out there going, Ooh, I could just do that money now. You know what I mean? But only if you've got credible information. Not something where you, you your neighbours told you, but your neighbours' friends, friends of a friend of a friend told them. That is not credible information. Because I tell you now, when you phone the police up, the police will want to check it all first. They'll have it all checked first, and you won't, you know what I mean? And if you're waiting, please die, I'm not happy for it. And I hope they do, because that is all wrong. Anyway. Let's put this little boy up there. Stop the screen. I'm going to leave you now with this little boy. Leave, go out with this little boy show. And um I'll be back later to do a live on Sebastian. And thank you. Thank you. All the links, this, links will be in the description. Please go and check them out. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I'm all on there. So thank you again.